Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Just a Minute EXTREME! Although, actually that's pretty much how I feel when I'm playing this game, like I'm playing Just a Minute. Because I mean, per route I've got about a minute to talk about something and of course I want to impose the restrictions of doing so without hesitation, repetition or deviation from the subject. You ever listen to Just a Minute when... What's it, Clement Freud was playing? He was just about the best person in the world at that game, because he spoke very slowly, very methodically, he knew absolutely everything in the world, and was also funny as all get out. It's pretty great. But no, this is Outrun, which, did you know, is actually the abridged version of the game's title? The full title of the game, or this Let's Play in particular, is Let's Play Outrun, and then you put a comma at the end, and then BITCHES! And then loads of exclamation marks and ones, because that is how awesome OutRun is. And speaking of how awesome OutRun is, during the break we changed our station to all C64 classics. By which I mean, this is yet another version of Magical Sound Shower. A song that I love almost as much as I do... What was it now? The Drowned Woman from Fatal Frame 2. By which I mean, I simply won't shut the hell up about it. And apparently the extreme in today's episode title is I'm going to use a lot more coarse language than I used to. You know, something that gets me about this game is how I can take the same routes, but I can do them so vastly differently that it completely boggles the mind. Like, that was my fourth run through Coconut Beach, and while I think I took pretty much the same line every single time, I've had four different results. What the hell, game? Okay, part of that comes from me driving with auto transmission, because I'm a coward. Manual transmission is really tricky, but arguably it makes the game so much better than running on auto. You can shift through the gears faster than you can on auto, and you can also drift without braking, so you can maintain faster speeds for longer. And you're going to need to use manual transmission and the manual drifting to get the speedrun achievements for beating the staff ghosts. Incidentally, have you, have you unlocked those achievements, Andrew? You guy who feels that he is sounding more and more like Yatsu with every passing take and is trying not to do this, pause for breath with incredibly jarring audio edit? Yeah, shut up, kid. Okay, so we're coming up on a stage that, for me, isn't particularly good or pleasant. The big forest, I mean, it's kind of hard to explain it and... What the heck happened to the music? This is pretty cool. I feel like I'm the master of time and space in here, that's pretty great. Cool. Anyways, no. The big forest is kind of lame to me because it's not... big or glamorous or showy or anything like that. Although it does sort of bring up an idea in my head that me and my girlfriend, we're going on a tour of America. Because like, you start off in Florida, you can go through San Francisco, Vegas is in there, it stands to reason that you'd go through Sierra Nevada, right? Which is also in California, the same as San Francisco. Hmm. Point is, to my mind, we're going on a tour of America. Probably. Also, hello ducks! It's been a while. By the way, this is what England looks like right about now. But I mean, not because it's winter or anything like that, it's because England is frozen. Wasteland, ah ha ha. Man, it seems like they're punishing you for taking the harder routes. Like, you've heard how you get a few bumps or bangs on the easier routes, and it's just nothing? That was a horrible scrape down the side of my sexy, sexy car. Dun dun dun, key change! Driving along in a real fast car. Got a cute girlfriend, we're going far. This is my obligatory song Making up words as I go along I don't know why I sing in my videos Guess that's just how the story goes I'm really not very good at it In fact, my singing's a load of bunk Yeah! And that's why I should probably never sing ever. 
quick distraction. This is Milky Way. And it's a shame because I want to love this stage. It is gorgeous. I like the imagery. I like the star shower. I like the lighting. Look at it. It's beautiful. But it is an absolute pain. And it's quite meta, actually, because it splits in two. You could say outrun Seption if putting Seption on the end of things made them into words, which, surprisingly, it bloody doesn't. Whoa! <laughs> my, my rage makes my car flip. Um, so yes, Inception means beginning, and adding Seption onto things is like adding Gate onto Scandals. It's just stupid. Stop having fun, guys! Although I have to wonder, what about the word exception? Because by logic of the internet, that means it is, at best, my last girlfriend contained within my last girlfriend, like a Mobius strip or some kind of demented, sexy Von Neumann machine. Or a gigantic cluster of bodies of people I've met and wooed over the years, combined into a single writhing naked entity of horrible power comprised of many, as per Legion from Symphony of the Night. Or my fantasies. Stop judging me! Anyways, that's the end, and the crowning moment of Hot Body Handsome Face's ineptitude. He can't even walk forward for a bit, just one step, kaplunk. To be fair, I was expecting him to get whisked away by aliens or something like that. Okie doke, let's get this thing added together, and third place, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Okay, join us next time for the final episode of Let's Play OutRun. So, until next time, goodbye.